Okay, bag making. So, step one, get all the stuff you need, get it together. Get your material and your templates cut. Uh, I'm going for a, a forest look, so I'm going for green and brown, but you can go for any colour you like. There's hundreds of colours you can get in this fabric. This fabric's a 20 ounce polyester uh, coated fabric. So, should be ideal for bags. So, what you want to do is make up four of these. Two small and two large. Basically, you're just threading your webbing through your clip, sewing it, and you want to sew it on a, a cross piece. It doesn't need to be as broad as that. Uh, I had some broad stuff, so I, I thought I'd use it. But the 25mm stuff would do just the same uh, your machine might not be able to so I've done mines double so there's four piece, four layers of web in there if your machine can't do four, four webbings onto another bit of webbing just do two webbings it'll be strong enough anyway so that's stage one Getting all your stuff together. So, with the brown fabric, which I bought a metre, and it's a uh, hundred and fifty wide. What I did was I cut it into eight, eight seven and a half inch strips and you join two strips together which will give you two metres by seven and a half inches. And for the rigid the rigid back you take one of your panels and you cut out another panel that's going to fit onto that in front of that so what you've got to do with this panel is you've got to take a half inch hem all the way around it then you're going to sew it sew it on in three sides so sew it along the top down the edge along the bottom and leave this side open and you're going to sew a line across so you can put in your your conduit slide your conduit in uh, but leave leave enough space to put in your bracket that you've made so you can sew that in and that's it you make your rigid your rigid back like that I'll show you once I've done it so it's really quite simple so once you've hemmed up your back piece you slide in your conduit so you put a 30 at the top slide that in and put a 25 at the bottom slide that in okay and then you're going to put, put your your bracket piece on I've still to sew the, the, the buckle on to this first. Put your bracket piece on and sew that on. Then you'll sew another line under it. Slip in a bit of conduit and sew up again. And do the same here, sew another line. Slip in a bit of conduit. And that's it. Then you sew down this, this edge. Make sure you sew this on nice and strong because that's going to hold the weight of your bag and basically you've got a bit down here to put on uh, to hold your bungee at the bottom and once that's on that's basically that bit done uh, yeah and so your your just leave a bit enough for a hem. You can sew right into this double seam here. 
fair bungee cord and leave enough for a, to sew around for your side party one. So that's the, basically the back. So what you want to do is uh, cut out your panels and sew them together like this. Uh, you're just <coughs> basically tacking the two side panels to the the bottom panel. Then you're going to sew everything, <coughs> everything on it, all your buckles and everything else. And I'll show you as I go. And this is a finished bag, all done, N bag number one, so have you look at it. So these, these rear bags, they hold 30 36.75 litres, that's what they are when they're fully opened, uh, that's each, so the front ones will hold 22.5 litres each when op fully opened. But obviously when you roll them down, uh, you're reducing the literage of the litre capacity. But in that bag there I've got my tent, my self-inflating mat, my sleeping bag, my sleeping bag liner and my pillow and I can still get groceries in there no problem so I'll have a wee look at it fully opened so as you can see it's a good sized bag when it's fully extended I could, and when it's fully extended that is your 36.75 litres uh, you could roll it up twice and fill it up quite well I actually rolled it up six times there because that's plenty of room for my, my gear. That's my gear in here. You see it? But yeah, great bags. These ones, these ones actually turned out to cost me six pounds each. So that's uh, just less than six pounds each actually, because uh, it only cost me twenty-two pounds. But if you have to buy everything for your bikes for you to make them uh, it'll cost you under £10 a bag which is good so if you, if you went with a well known brand you're saving a £40, a £40 saving on each bag so well worth it they cheap enough you could make a set every season or so different colours every winter you get when it's cold and wet snowing outside you can just sit in the house and make a set of bags so that's the bags <laughs>